Let us look at substitution effect and income effects in case of perfect complements, perfect substitutes and cosilinear preferences. So let us look at perfect complements first. Right. So you know that uh, perfect complements have this kind of a shape. Right. Say for example, you are talking about u is equal to min of xy. Well, we will first of all draw the kink. I have already told you, I mean for a kinky function, you will draw the kink line first. And you know that the interference curve for perfect complements is drawn in such a way. We have done this, uh, this thing already in some other recording. You might see that. And the initial budget line is let's say this. So initially budget line is this and uh, individual is consuming at point E1. Now suppose price of good one falls, price of good one falls and uh, the budget line it shifts to this. This is the new budget line. So given this new budget line, this is going to be my optimal. This is going to be my optimal. Now, what you will do is this. That is, you will draw a fictitious budget line which is going to pass through E1. So, let us say mm, the fictitious budget line pass through E1 and it is tangential to, 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 to I mean which is going to pass through E1 and it is parallel to the new budget line. Okay, Although it does not look parallel, you might think that what he is doing. Okay. Yeah, so this this budget line is passing through the initial consumption bundle and it is parallel to the new budget line, right? Beta? So there is uh, absolutely no substitution effect because when the budget line was the original budget line here, this was the original budget line. Here also consumption is at even. This one is the fictitious budget line. Here also consumption is at E1. This one is the final budget line and here consumption is at E2. So the movement of uh, from the original to the intermediate bundle is what the substitution effect is. There is no substitution effect here. There is absolutely no substitution effect and this is not surprising at all. Why? Because you know this that uh, in case of perfect substitute, uh, perfect complements, you are not going to substitute anything. You have to use them in this ratio only, right? So optimal, <clears throat> optimal choice at the original. and fictitious budget line remains at even, right? So, substitution effect is zero. The change in demand is entirely due to income effect. The change in demand is entirely due to income effect. Hmm. Now let us look at the case of perfect substitutes. Ok, 
okay this is the indifference curve which i have and this is let's say the budget line <clears throat> this is let's say the budget line we have done all this right we have done all this then in case if you have like this so and this is the steeper budget line than the slope of the indifference curve and you'll just ask yourself given the given this red budget line what is the highest indifference curve i can draw okay given this red budget line what is the highest indifference curve i can draw is this the highest one no is this the highest one no this one is the highest one right this one is the highest one so this is the original bundle e1 original consumption bundle right and this is the original budget line hmm. not this one this is uh, sorry this red one is the original budget line sorry then supposedly the price of good one has fallen right price of good one has fallen now you will ask yourself what is the highest indifference curve i can draw is this the highest one right no this one is the highest one this one is the highest one you'll just ask yourself what is the highest indifference curve i can draw so this one is the highest one now e2 is the final bundle and this one is the final budget line right now you just think about it you need to do what you need to now draw the uh, budget line which is passing through e1 and parallel to the new budget line right now the in now the budget line which is going to pass through e1 and also parallel to the new budget line is going to be the same one right hmm? so it is the same thing beta just think about it the 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 budget line which is going to pass through e1 and parallel to the new budget line is going to be the same one here so what has happened here so the entire effect is the substitution effect you cannot generalize this i'll give you an example let me just write the point here okay i'll 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 give you the example beta supposedly your supposedly p1 p2 was 2 3 right or let's take our example only which we have just built it up like this 2 1 and income is 10 although i don't require income right now but let's say income is 10 so you know according to this utility function i mean uh, the mrs is going to be 1 and uh, you going to compare the price ratio with the mrs so mrs in this case is 1 price ratio is 2 right so if p1 by p2 is less than mrs you will be consuming all of x if p1 by p2 is greater than mrs will be consuming all of y and that is what you have been doing out here all of y right now suppose p1 dash has fallen to half p2 is still 1 p1 dash has fallen to half and p2 is still 1 then what happens mrs is 1 p1 dash by p2 becomes equal to half so p1 dash by p2 is less than mrs and you will be consuming now what all of x so there is complete substitution which is taking place it could also have been the case it could have been the case i mean this is the example which we have given uh, it could also have been the case that if prices would have become like this 3 
price of x would have increased let's say so if price of x would have increased then again you will be consuming all of y so you were consuming all of y earlier here also you're going to consume all of y so there is no substitution which is taking place so you cannot generalize it the way you did for the perfect complements right you cannot generalize this the way you did for the perfect complements that's an idea which i want to give so but for this example which variant has given uh, we've written it like this huh so entire effect for this example entire effect is due to substitution effect let us talk about quasi linear preferences right let's talk about quasi linear preferences so how do we go about this <clears throat> let's say this is the initial budget line and uh, this is the curve your quasi linear bundle right this is what e1 is now suppose price of good x has fallen hmm. and uh, you would be consuming at e2 out here you know this that the changes in income is not going to affect the demand for good one out here changes in income is not going to affect the demand for good one so how do you call how do you talk about this in case of quasi linear preferences right but before then that i just i just want to go uh, i take a step back and uh, i want to show you one more thing before even i get into the this thing supposedly if i have this kind of the utility function we know that this is a quasi linear function i'll set up the lagrange to find out the optimal we have done all this i'm just doing this just to make a point clear that's what what we want to say let me just divide first by second we know all this so i'm just doing this very quickly that uh, beta we have already done all this in the earlier recordings so if you have not seen them i urge you to please see them first so dividing first by second you have 1 upon 2 root x upon 1 equals to p1 by p2 right p1 by p2 and uh, what do you have out here is 1 upon 4x equals to p1 by p2 ka whole square so i can write x star as your x star is you can just write like this so that is p2 square upon 4p1 square so this is independent of uh, income independent of income at all right so if it is independent of income it means what that is demand for good x is not going to be changed with the changes in income that's what i want to tell uh, that's what i wanted to tell that this is not dependent upon income and uh, the demand for good x is independent of income demand for good x is independent of income uh, 
that's that's the point which i would just want to make earlier so that it comes clear in your head in case of quasilinear preferences of course there are <clears throat> other issues also here in quasilinear that uh, there is a threshold income so if your income is less than that income then you will be consuming only x which is the necessity good we have already completed all those things so i'm not getting into that i just want to uh, tell one thing uh, uh, from that point which is going to be useful out here so please please write that we know that a shift in income shift in income causes <clears throat> no change in demand for good one right so when preferences are quasi linear when preferences are quasi linear so this means that whatever is going to be the change that change is going to come due to the substitution effect not the income effect that's an idea so what do you do is that uh, you just draw the fictitious budget line which is passing through e1 that is your original consumption bundle and parallel to the new budget line <clears throat> and this doing this is is a task for me huh so this is the budget line which is passing through the original consumption bundle but um, parallel to the new budget line that's a fictitious budget line right and on that you have drawn the curve like this you've drawn the curve like this so you have like this something like this right out here so whatever change is happening from this point to this point e3 change in demand for good x <coughs> that is happening due to the substitution effect nothing else so the same amount of x1 is being demanded out here right and uh, so the entire effect is going to be the substitution effect so this means this means that the entire change in demand for good one is due to the substitution effect is due to the substitution effect and then income effect is zero so you move from this point to this point for the substitution effect and this is the same amount of x which you've been consuming out here right so these are these are what your uh, quasi linear preferences so in this case income effect is zero right income effect is zero so this is what i wanted to do in this recording thank you beta